Sorry, I kind of went on. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Back with another video and back with another collab. This one is with Courtney Tay. I will put her YouTube whatever on the screen, the description box below. Ya know the drill. And this one is 20 things to know to grow your channel. I'm going to be doing 10. She's going to be doing 10. So after you watch my 10, then go ahead and head to her channel. Or if you're coming from her channel, hey, what's up? I'm Tori. <laughs> okay, let's get right into the video, guys. I thought of is definitely consistency consistency is for sure key in any social media platform doesn't matter if it's YouTube Instagram or if you're like trying to grow business on social media consistency is definitely key interact with your followers anything because whoever's following you wants to see you and wants to see constant consistence of you you know okay number two aesthetic and eye-catching thumbnails I have been going through with a lot of thumbnails, I know that, because honestly, I cannot decide, it's just me and my damn OCD, okay? I just never can decide, and I keep changing it up, but I think I got mine down. But with Canva and my Procreate, I have nailed down my own aesthetic. <laughs> okay, so yeah, definitely that, because you know you want people to click on your video so if you like have like a very boring vid picture of just you and like nothing on this that like picture it's just like do i want to watch that you know number three constant edits that make your viewers want to view your whole video so yeah definitely like obviously if there's a trend on youtube saying like unedited rant of somewhat then yeah but other than that if it's not that then try to like interact with your viewers when you're filming and just like i know you're like filming to i'm uh, not filming but you're talking to a camera so it's kind of hard but just think of all those subscribers that you have or followers that you have and just think that they're gonna be watching you. So it's like you talking to them, you know what I mean? So like, just like be happy, be you, and they will like that and you will get more viewers, more subscribers, more commenters, whatever it is. And just like don't pressure anyone like on any other social media platform because that does not work. You want to gain them naturally and organically. But yeah, about the cuts and edits, sorry, I kinda went on. <laughs> I do this so many times, okay. But yeah, cuts and edits definitely like boom, boom, or like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then like um, a lot of like behind the scenes, or not behind the scenes, but just like sneak peek in the beginning before the intro works with like, put like cute little edits like around it and like filters or whatever. So. Number five, collabs with bigger, small YouTubers. So for example, I have collabed with Tiana Willette and she has like 3,000 subscribers. So like that kind of bigger, small YouTubers, you know, like, I don't even know what's considered small YouTuber if, until like 10,000 subscribers. I don't even know, 100, like comment down below, like what's considered a small YouTuber? Like what's the limit? You know what I mean? Like obviously if you have a million subscribers, that's not considered small anymore. Like what's the limit? 100,000? I I don't know. But yeah, anyways, try to collab with them. Like, honestly, I love collabs because that's how literally I grow organically because like they talk about you because they're collabing with you and then their viewers or subscribers will check out your channel and watch your videos so it gives you more views and then so they, can, they will subscribe if they want to. Number six, having a niche on your channel. I heard a lot of things about having a niche. It's good to have a niche, but I also watched this video from Shelby Church, and she said, like secrets that YouTubers don't tell you, having a niche is not really that important. But of course, if you want to have a niche, you can. It doesn't really matter, like that's up to you. But I guess like having a niche or not doesn't really matter, just like have really engaging videos and everything just like don't make it boring you know what i mean number seven profile and channel banner attraction so like i said before having that aesthetic and eye-catching thumbnail definitely like because that's within your profile and channel banner but yeah by profile and channel banner i mean like profile picture like have a really good profile picture that people want to see 
and then have like a matching channel banner to attract your subscribers. Like mine is like all pink because I like pink and yellow, so. <laughs> And then I actually had one girl make my channel banner. Obviously, you can make it your own if you want. And then, you know, you know, that attraction, that aesthetic. Number eight, support other YouTubers and comment on their channels for them to check you out. I know they say not to like comment on their videos to like say, hey, um, I just subscribed. Could you check me out? Like, don't say it directly like that because that just means like you didn't really watch their videos. So in this case, just like comment something after the video, like something you really, really liked in their video or just like something you really liked of their channel. That gets them to read their comment and then actually reply to you. And then after that, maybe say like, hey, let's become YouTube friends, whatever. That's what I do a lot of times and it really works. And that's what I mean by like support because you're engaging with the video that you have watched and you're commenting what you liked or didn't like or what they can prove, whatever. A lot of YouTubers or small YouTubers love that feedback so they know like what their viewers want and they can get better in their YouTube career time. Number nine, brand collaboration. So I've seen a lot of small YouTubers get brand collaborations with like different unboxing monthly boxes. I think that makes sense. Brand collaborations are definitely a good deal if you can get them. I feel like I haven't gotten like a YouTube brand collaboration, but I feel like my brands would have to be like Monet and then Snap. I normally do those a lot of times on my Instagram and sometimes I guess TikTok, but I just feel like I have all this content planned. That's why I do it on there. But yeah, definitely brand collaborations are a big hit. I feel like a lot of bigger, small YouTubers tend to do it more. So I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Okay, number 10, last one, uploading trendy videos. For sure, this is a hit, like the iOS 14 one. If you have uploaded your iOS 14 customization, put your hashtags, whatever. So, for sure, uh, that is it for this video. I hope, I hope this helped somewhat some small YouTubers watching this. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or whatever that I didn't realize I did, didn't say let me know i would love to reply to that comment or question don't forget to like this video and you know the drill just like grab if you aren't subscribed and i will see you guys next week bye